Welcome to the FEMAP version 11.1 .1 What's New video series. In this video we'll be looking at some of the new enhancements that have come directly from customer requests. In the group operations generate command there is a non-manifold edges option that will create groups of elements and nodes based on group boundaries defined by non-manifold edges. So for geometry like this model that contains many T-junctions the model can be broken up into separate groups for each panel and rib in one single command. In fact, in this example, 105 groups are created automatically, and to show the groups visually, we can color the groups with individual random colors. In FEMAP 11.1, .1, you can optionally include group and layer information when using the tooltip display. The information is also directed to the Entity Info pane to give you interactive feedback of the layer and group membership for the entities that are highlighted. FEMAP's measuring tool now includes a method of determining distances between multiple selected geometry entities. You can measure distances between different geometry entities and request the maximum, minimum or both values between all of the selected entities. In a related capability, you can also create lines between the maximum and minimum, or both, points between multiple selected geometry entities. In the meshing toolbox, you can split a surface between two curves at their closest point relative to each other. This adds to the array of geometry editing tools and can be helpful for splitting surfaces in particular situations where there are no other obvious identifiers to pick. A new data surface type in FEMAP 11.1, .1, the load set combination data surface, allows a spreadsheet type method of creating and editing combinations of existing load sets. You can export data to Excel or edit and create the load set combinations in Excel and import them back into FEMAP to create new load set combinations. With the combinations defined in the Data Surface Editor, you can right-click to sum forces and create new FEMAP load set combinations as defined in the table. The load set combination data surface makes easy work of setting up complex load set combinations. There have been some extensions to the checking tools in FEMAP 11.1. .1. For coincident nodes, you can now merge nodes with differing output coordinate systems. For force summation checking, the selections for a partial model are more explicit, allowing you to select particular nodes and elements or selected load definitions. Also, an option to include or exclude body loads has been added. For element quality checks, new All On, All Off buttons aid quality check criteria selection. A Show button highlights elements that fail any of the selected criteria and you can obtain quality lists as a summary or in detail. There is a new Entity Count button in the Model Info tree which displays a count of the entities in each section of the tree. The button toggles the Entity Count display on or off. To find out more, visit us at siemens.com slash plm slash femap or call your local channel partner.